Hello everyone and welcome back to Steven Plays Skyrim. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and today it's Skyrim. When we last left off, we finished off the House of Horrors quest. Very simple quest. We went and saved a guy and then brought him to an altar where an evil demonic lord killed him. And we watched. It's kind of weird and me and Fandel felt weird about it, but I got a free mace out of it, so that's pretty neat. Uh, today we're going to be working on Boethia's Calling. Take a look at the journal here. I found a book that mentioned a cult of Boethia in the mountains near Windhelm. Now, I've never actually been to Windhelm. Windhelm is still undiscovered. So today, we're going to be traveling over to Morvenskar, walking to Windhelm so we discover it, and then uh, finally over to the Sac Sacalum of Boethia. So let's go ahead and uh, place a marker here, and then travel to Morvenskar. All right. Uh, piss. Whatever. <laughs> I got... Friggin' crazy armor and all kinds of junk. Morven Scar. What's up, guys? Haven't been here in a while. Oh, Conjurer, that's cute. Yeah, you're about to get owned. Or maybe I'm about to get owned. All these people are Conjurers, which could spell bad things for me. I'm just gonna keep swinging and hope things work out in my favor. Oh, God. Just take a quick, quick time to... Quick time. <laughs> quick time event. Uh, minor healing. Come on! I need to kill these people quick. Every time I knock one out, that's one less I have to deal with. Come on, buddy. You wanna play? Let's play. Heal. Oh, come on! Friggin' taking away my stamina. That cut off his head? I didn't even need to do that. Pretty sure he was already dead as I was killing him. Okay. We're doing good here? Okay, I feel better. Also, see how fast my stamina is regenerating? That is so cool. All right, um, imp stool, sure, walk war black. What you guys got? So many dead conjurers. Staff of reanimation. Isn't that what I killed someone for one time? I killed the, I, I don't remember his name, but that was that was such a funny moment in, in the Skyrim LP. God, I feel bad for that kid. Uh, I should probably take the robes. How much are the robes worth? I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, it's 153 times the weight. Dragon's tongue, some robes. I would grab the other robes, but honestly, I, I've got so much freaking money, I don't even care anymore. All right, let's come out here and see what we got. What was that? Careful, bro. Okay. Now we're going to head towards that blue marker, because we're going to be discovering Windhelm. I've never been to Windhelm. I don't even know what's in Windhelm. Is Windhelm... The Stormcloak place with, uh, what is it? What's his name? Ulfric? Ulfric Stormcloak? I don't even know. That seems dangerous. Careful. Careful. Then we're good. I mean, honestly, if I just walked up to a bear and, you know, slit him to pieces, like slit his throat and, and killed him, because if you guys didn't see last episode, I actually did that. A bear walked up to me and I didn't even flinch. I was like, let's just do this, and I cut him into pieces. I've lost maybe a tenth of my health. Yeah. Things have changed. Argyle is one bad dude with the ice spike stuck through his chest. Uh, okay, so that's Windhelm. Uh, looks like we need to go on this bridge to get up there. So I guess we'll go say hello. I mean, I've never been to Windhelm, so... Uh, Ulfric Stormcloak, he was with me whenever... We what was that? There were two red... Mar oh, it's wolves. The wolves, like, loaded late. Come on. Da da da! Uh huh. Soul captured. Stand up, troll. Cool. Um, one of the neat things about all of this dragon armor is, um, uh, or one of the things I was curious about is, I was wondering if there was actually dragon bows, dragon swords, things like that, and there's not. But apparently, they added that in Dawn Guard. So just another reason, you know, as soon as I get a chance, I really want to get a, a bigger hard drive so I can actually, um, do. Like get the get like a, a dragon bow and a dragon sword and all this stuff. So let's go ahead and discover Windhelm. We're running here. Hi guys, what's up? I don't think anyone's gonna mind if I'm in here. I can increase my restoration while I'm walking. I don't know if anyone's gonna mind if I go in here. Do you guys care? Nope. All right, let's check out Windhelm. Okay. Windhelm discovered. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink. 
and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? Uh, no, I don't hate your people. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Hmm. Look like those Nords were giving you some trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Great Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Huh. Why would anyone think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Really? Until next time. See, I've I've read a little online that um the the Stormcloaks were racist. But I guess now I'm getting a chance to experience it firsthand. I know I want to do Boethius Calling, but I think I might spend a little time in Windhelm because this is interesting to me. The townsfolk call me Captain because I used to be a sailor. I lost my family years ago. Truth is, I don't really know what keeps me going. What kind of captain are you? Well, nothing. At least not anymore. Folk just call me that because of what I used to do. I was a sailor for many a year. I made my coin as a trader, and in time, I bought my own ship. When I retired here in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as Captain Lonely Gale, and the name just stuck. Hmm. Folk are talking about murders. Terrible shame, that. Seems we have a killer on the loose here in Windhelm. He's claimed three victims that I know of, though maybe there's more that haven't been found yet. All lovely ladies, too. Let's hope the gods find that demon soon and introduce him to the headman's axe. Hmm. So what's there to do in the city? If you're looking to pass the time, you can give Kalix to a few septims and gawk at whatever oddity he's come across lately. If you're in need of goods, there's a market. If it's a soft bed and a hot meal you're after, there's Candlehearth Hall. Okay, and uh, who are the prominent citizens in Windhelm? There's an author named Adonato staying at the inn. He's published a few works of historical fiction. The clans Shattershield and Cruelcy see most of the gold that passes through the city. And obviously you have Ulfric, the Jarl and future High King. Oh, and that busybody Viola Giordano. She's got her nose in everyone's business, which I guess is one way of being prominent. Cool. Fair winds and calm seas. That's an Osela's party. So I'm learning a few things. Uh, the people here are racist, and Ulfric is here. I'm assuming he's up in the castle somewhere. Now, I'm most interested in helping out the Dark Elves, because apparently these people hate Argonians too, and it's kind of hard to hide that. I got a lot of armor on, but, I mean, come on. I got a friggin' tail shooting out my butt, so it's it's going to be easy to identify me as uh, a, some someone for criticism. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Oh, so this is where the Dark Brotherhood starts. I'm, I guess. Is this where the orphanage is? I've read a lot about that, too. Ulfric will listen to you. You've seen how we live. Cramped alleys, run-down buildings, few guard patrols. Even the name Grey Quarter is an insult. That's all I ask. With your help, we have a chance to make a better life for ourselves here. Who is this so guy talking to? Really, who are you talking to? You're an elf. I thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. What's the Grey Quarter? Windhelm is divided into four quarters. The Grey Quarter is the one that's home to all the city's dark elves. If it looks to you like an impoverished slum, that's because it is. Ulfric prefers that we live in squalor. He has nothing but disdain for anyone who isn't a Nord. He tolerates us, but that's the extent of his hospitality. Hmm. 
It was a pleasure. I was going to ask him about moving to Morrowind, but I think that'd be rude. Two spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? I could cut your head off in about four seconds, so I think that counts as being impressed. What is this? This is the, the trade people. The great quarter is not much to look at now, but it wasn't always so bad. Um, it looks like he's about to go in this place. What is this? New Dynas Corner Club? The Corner Club's been filling up at night lately. I'll bet Elda up at Candlehearth is jealous. I know it's, I really should be like on the quest, but I love exploring like this and, and seeing what's in Skyrim since I actually don't know. Apparently some Nord women were murdered. Not sure why I should care. So why are there so many Dark Elves here? Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burned, you could scarcely breathe in Morrowind. So we came west. Windhelm was the first city on that road, and here we are. Hmm. If we had known the Nords would be so unwelcoming, we may have kept walking. Uh, there have been murders in Windhelm? None of that matters to me. Until someone takes a Dunmer, I'll let Windhelm deal with its own problems. Hmm. So, how are the Dark Elves treated in Windhelm? Not that I don't already know the answer to that. Well... You see where we have to live. This forgotten alley. All the filth from the upper quarters flows downhill, what they say. Good luck getting one of the guards to help with anything. Hmm. I tried to get Ulfric to even come down here to see the squalor, but the High Lord of His Mightiness couldn't find the time. Huh. Heard any rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Visit the Shrine of Azura. Okay. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. I kind of doubt that anyone else is here, but I figured that I could at least look around. Seems like this is their inn. I'm not going to steal from these poor people. Now, I've stolen. Haha. <laughs> Man, I've stolen. I have seriously stolen some stuff off screen, but uh, not, not from the poor. That's just. Mm, no. I'm a regular Robin Hood. Robin Argyle. Okay, uh, now I'm still on the Boethius Calling Quest. Oh, there's some people. What's going on down there? I was one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army until I took a sword to the chest. Ouch. Oh, here's the woman that gaps her mouth. I'd be out there fighting the Imperials right now if it wasn't for my war wound. Ever since that Imperial Craven ran me through from behind. I've had trouble breathing. I don't have any trouble drinking, though. Um, sure. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Okay. All right, then. Bye-bye. Let's see what else is going on in the city. I'm going to talk to her before she gets away. Yo! After what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. Women murder time and again, and all the guards care about is the war. So women are getting murdered, but it's it's just Nord women, so the elves don't care. Which leads me to believe it would be the elves doing it, since, I mean, the elves would want some retaliation, I'm sure. Uh, but unfortunately, I have no idea what to think. Let's see if I can find some other people standing around. You there! Silda. Spare a coin for an old woman, my lord. Train me to be a better pickpocket? The divine smile on a charitable soul. That's funny. What is this? That's the uh, the inn. And that's the guy I talked to. I'm curious where to the 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 guy that was a jerk to that elf went because I didn't catch him in time. But it's divided into four quarters, so if I wander around long enough, I'll probably find him. War anvil. Everyone says Yorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Hmm. Working in Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Sounds like you really admire Ulfric. Every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for all of us. In fact, he's the reason I chose to learn the smithing trade. I want to make weapons and armor for the great Stormcloak army. Okay, do you like being a blacksmith? Smithing isn't the most exciting thing for me. We all have to lend a hand as best we can. 
If a Stormcloak uses one of my swords to strike down an Imperial soldier, then I've done my part to free our land. Hmm. A word of advice. Don't buy discounted armor. I'm not a super huge fan of the Imperials, but the problem is the Stormcloaks are like, you know, another terrible people. Everyone's terrible. Who are you? I'd travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? Are you treated as badly as the Dark Elves? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. Hmm. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. Hmm, so that's an interesting twist on the situation. How long have you been in Windhelm? Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. Hmm. Thank you for your custom. Uh, Jora. You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. Oh. We're the only temple in Skyrim that can openly worship Talos. And what does Talos have to do with the war? The Empire's elven puppet masters never cared much for the idea of a human becoming a divine. So the worship of Talos is outlawed. Skyrim doesn't take kindly to being told what to do. And to try and forget Talos, well, they may as well ordered us all to cut off our ears. Hmm. So are the people of Windhelm devout? Like anyone, a crisis will push them towards devotion. I've been seeing a lot of the Shatter Shields since they lost their daughter. Helevi Krulsi comes in a lot, but I haven't seen her husband here in years. Ulfric prays for strength. I speak to Captain Lonely Gale, but he doesn't spend much time here. Too busy. Hmm. Tell me about Talos. Talos, who in life was known as Tiber Septim, united Tamriel and founded the Empire. He was rewarded for his deeds by being joined with the Divines in eternal glory. The only mortal to do so. We worship him that we might follow in his path. We can't literally join him in the heavens, but we may do our best to know them here on Nern. Interesting. Blessings of RK be upon you. Yes? Must be tough to grow anything out here. There's an old saying that only a Nord can work the soil in Skyrim. I don't think anyone else would have the patience for it. It takes half a day just to dig a planting row in the cold, stony earth here. But what else can we do? Eat rocks and ice? Hmm. Good day to you. Well, I could spend, you know, probably hours walking around Windhelm and talking to everyone. But what I'm really interested in is seeing Ulfric. So if it's possible, I'm going to make my way north and see if I can't find the castle that Ulfric is in and actually get a chance to speak with him. Hey. Let's see, I don't actually know where the crap I'm going, but this seems promising. Uh, Palace of the Kings. Here we go. Excuse me, sir. Palace of the Kings. All right. Ulfric won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest, then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. 
but people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Gotmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Wolfling. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Well, kind of walked in on that conversation. I guess I will have to chat with Ulfric next time. If you guys enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing to Steven Play's new video game episode every single day. Join me next time whenever I finally get the chance to chat myself with Ulfric, the next future High King. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.